Another thing I want you guys to see is what's going on right now behind me. Uh, it's a nice area, nice, nice scenic view. Might, might grab a bite to eat. May even go get a chance to go speak and meet a new few friendly faces right in the area. So I'm super duper excited. Stay tuned for what we have coming next. Uh, just remember that we are happy to be at the top because the bottom is way too crowded. What's up guys? I hope you guys are ready to stay engaged. Right? I got some exciting things for you in store for this specific block. Right? We're in the River Oaks district today where I'm spending my forever love gear. Right? Shout out to Daniel Alexander, creator of this amazing, incredible brand. brand right? But again, we're going to actually walk through River Oaks. We're going to meet some new people. We're going to elevate our frequencies. And of course, we're going to talk about making money while we're at it. Patrick, right real quick, black entrepreneurs, what, what do you like, what's new, what can you say for that next entrepreneur that's looking to start in the minority community? Oh, so the key thing to remember is you gotta find a niche that needs to be provided and try to do something different, but also do something that can uplift the community at the same time. Like you need to have, be an entrepreneur, but you need to be an entrepreneur with a sense of conscience. Lit, okay, we Johnny Ray Gill, and, and yeah. with that, you know what I'm saying, what are some tips you give for the next wave of black success of entrepreneurs? I would say that black entrepreneurs, we need to make sure that we have integrity. Um, yeah. I don't think that diversity doesn't exist um, if we're just going to be like the white men that have been oppressive before us. Climate change is a thing, uh, uh, sustainability is a thing, being responsible is, is a thing, um, the way we treat women and all those things have to be taken into consideration when you're being an entrepreneur. And then, Vilton Hunt, how you feeling, man? What, what is your way for that next wave of success for the entrepreneurship community, for black entrepreneurs? How you feel? I would say have humility and be disciplined in all things you do, but also surround yourself with individuals that you can be able to learn. You always want to be the student before you're the teacher. So be the student as well as the teacher. But you can learn from somebody from younger old, similar to yourself. The 21, I learned a lot from you. I'm 30. I'm learn we both learning. We both pass off the information and knowledge and always share. Never be greedy and always be respectful and decent in everything you do and have a great practice of what you love to do. This, this is the path to success. So we're literally walking around Houston, right, on the path to success. So we're just going to give you guys a few ideas, a few perspectives, a few gems that we picked up along the way. Right, what are some What are some positives, some, some insight? What are just some tips you give to the next person that's looking to be great, to be successful, to, to make that next seven-figure goal? I pretty much say just have a healthy, healthy workout schedule, first thing, because if you get not, your body not in shape or your mental not in shape, or your spirit not in shape. You're not able to do things that you want to do. So fundamentally work, work out, pray, eat clean, nutrition, food, always have a good support team and a good support system and always involved in your life. I say the fifth thing, knowing who you are, know why you're doing it. So I just say just write everything down and kind of execute it. If you don't if you achieve it that specific day or the specific month, give yourself a three, six months, nine months period of time to get it. Woo, Rolls Royce, drop top, let's go. All right, guys. So we back. We back at it, man. New location, right? We still. We still in the same river district. Now the question is, Vincent, yeah. what does the perfect day for you look like? Oh my God, that's my that's my favorite fundamental question. A lot of people ask me. I would say everything is aligned. So I would say if I'm working out at LA Fitness from the time of 5 a.m. to 6 a.m., I'm done working out. I always have a routine doing that. Boom, boom that's knocked out, right? So I'll say if I'm pretty much be able to execute my plan, go to Starbucks, typically sit and see new faces. Exchange what I learned from New York Stock Exchange. It's trading in today's market in Tesla, Bitcoin, Dogecoin. Be able to trade all the way up from 8 a.m. to 9, 9 a.m. in the morning, right? Then from there, fundamentally, go spend time with go spend time with my family, friends, and be able to find plans. You do? I got a movie. I'm an action filmmaker. Okay. Uh, you guys probably know me from Underground, Brain Dead, Rectify. Mm -hmm. You can check out my new movie, Rollers, on uh, Amazon, uh, iTunes, and um, I got a new show coming out called Grand Crew. Mm -hmm.